Hello friends, I am back. I'm going to do some playing with Bling's new red gel products today. So before we get started, here are my nails today. Um, I did do a full removal. I filed everything off um, down almost to my natural nail. And then I went in with my clear rubber base. I uh, did a coat of that did two coats of clear builder gel um, and created some extensions just with paper forms. Um, I'm off work for a couple of weeks and so I thought it'd be kind of fun to play with a little bit longer nail. Uh, then I went in and filed, uh, shaped, did everything the way I wanted. Um, and then today I went in with a coat of Pillow Talk. Uh, that's her pink sparkly rubber base, just one coat of that and then my regular top coat um, just simply so I could have something to put peel base on. Um, I like to use peel base under my manis when I know I'm going to change every couple of days um, and since I'm on vacation for a couple weeks I'm hoping to get some good mani time in. So this is kind of where I'm starting. Um, I am going to play today with two of her new red um, gel polishes. So I'm going to use Red Velvet and Hot Lips. So Red Velvet is a gorgeous, deep red shimmer. I'm actually absolutely, totally obsessed. Um, and then I'm going to also use this gorgeous uh, Hot Lips, which is this beautiful um, red glitter gel. And then I'm going to play a little bit with this new product, which is a Russian matte top coat which I have not used before. So I'm gonna play with that a little and see how that goes, as well as using my regular top coat on some nails. I so showed you what I had done uh, previously, and then I went away and did these four nails. So I used red velvet on the pinky with a regular top coat, and on the pointer finger with Bling's new matte top coat so it's a russian matte coat which is amazing i am totally obsessed with the matte um, on my ring finger i used the glitter gel polish hot lips and on my middle finger i used ferrari red uh, gel polish so kind of a gradient red mani just to kind of play with. I don't know if I would necessarily wear them all at the same time normally, but I couldn't wait to try them. So right now I'm going to show you that my whole process just on my thumb, so it's a little bit quicker. So I'm going to go in and the first thing I'm going to do is use my um, bling base coat. So I'm just going to go in and put a base coat down before my gel polish. So I I always start kind of in the middle of my nail and pull it forward and then push it back to my cuticle. So I want to keep it off of my skin as much as possible. Um, if I do touch my skin, I'm going to go in and clean it up because I definitely do not want to aggravate my gel allergies. I am allergic to most gel products. Um, in fact, every gel product I've ever tried except for Bling I've been allergic to. Uh, there have been like six brands, including some that um, said they were HEMA free. So far Bling has been the only brand I've been able to use without antagonizing my gel allergy. So I don't want to tempt fate. So I just clean up the gel that touches my skin, my cuticles, and then I go back in with a brush and some acetone to clean that off as well. So I just want to make sure that I'm not curing any gel on my actual skin because that definitely can aggravate or lead to gel allergies, uh, which nobody wants because they're terrible and then you can't use all these lovelies. So um, I've been waiting not so patiently for all of these reds to arrive and my gosh, my gosh, they are so gorgeous. I just couldn't decide which to use first. So that's why I have this kind of gradient red thing going on. Um, I also ordered the cat eye, the red cat eye gel. So I'll be using that later this week um, just to try it out. I have some new magnets that are supposed to come today. 
because I am telling you friends, if it is anything like the gold and silver cat eye, um, I'm just going to be obsessed. They are so easy to use and so fun to play with. I just love them. So I went ahead and I'm curing this thumb for 30 seconds. Uh, remember underneath this, I have um, a layer of rubber base clear. I have two layers of clear builder gel that I used with a paper form to create an extension. Uh, then I filed, buffed, shaped, and then went back in with one coat of the rubber base coat in Pillow Talk just to form my sticky layer so I could do a glossy top coat. And then I used Peel Base and now I have my layer of base coat so I can go in with my gel. So I think for my thumb, I think I'm gonna go in and do Hot Lips, which is that red glitter and try it with the matte top coat. So just to try something different. So when I go in, I don't wanna to have too much on my brush because uh, I can always go back for more. So I'm gonna do the same thing, start in the center of my nail and pull it forward and then go and push it back to my cuticle. So I'm not plopping it at my cuticle. I'm trying to control how much goes towards my skin. So just by pushing it back with my brush and then pulling it forward. So I can use my finger to kind of pull my skin back a little bit so that I don't touch it and just pull that gel polish forward. So I will say that the glitter gel is thicker than the shimmers, which makes sense because it has to have room for those glitters in there. But I really don't find it more difficult to use. In fact, it might be a little easier because it's not as um, runny. The viscosity is a little thicker. So actually, I kind of like this glitter a lot. So I'm pulling it forward. I'm going to kind of spread it around a little to make sure it's a nice even coverage. I don't want to have um, thicker parts and thinner parts. I want to try and keep it pretty consistent so that it shows um, beautifully. So I'm just messing with it a little because I'm never totally satisfied. I am a perfectionist. I readily admit it. Not that I turns out perfect. I just want it to. And usually that means I over mess with stuff. So I'm going to put that back in. I went over the edge a little, so I just used my glove to kind of pull that off. Now I'm going to go in with my orange wood stick and where I touch the skin. Remove it on both sides. I'm trying to keep my thumb angled down a little bit so that it's not running back toward my cuticle. Um, because it is a liquid, just like nail polish, so it does tend to move a little bit before you cure it. And then I'm going to go in with my brush and alcohol and just remove what's touched my skin. They do have little brushes um, that I got off of Amazon that I use as well, um, especially if I just have a tiny little area. So they come in a big package that have a whole bunch of these little brushes. They're kind of handy. They don't have as much um, weight to them because they're not as thick. So sometimes if I um, have a little larger area or I'm wanting to pull it a little more, I do like this, this little art brush too. So I use both. I'm always trying new things, trying to perfect and make things better and easier and all that jazz. So um, like I've said before, I am definitely not a nail professional. I am a do-it-yourselfer, um, just kind of self-taught. I've been doing my nails for 
a little over three years now. It's pretty funny because before COVID and all that, I painted my nails maybe like once a year for a wedding or um, if my husband and I were going on a trip or something like that. I was not a nail girl. I do so much housework and dishes and laundry. I could not keep nail polish on. Um, and I'm too cheap to go to a salon. So I basically always had short little nubby naked nails. Um, when COVID hit, my friend Molly got started doing dipping and introduced me to it. And I've been going crazy ever since. So a little over three years going strong now. Um, and I absolutely love, absolutely love it. Once I found bling, I got totally obsessed. So I have almost every dip she's ever made, I think. Um, and when these gels came out, I was totally bummed since I had had problems with gel allergies. Um, and then I saw some other girls were having success with these, not bothering them. So I started small. I tested on one nail, one product at a time, um, and found I was able to use them. So, so far, so good. Um, been going on about four months now, so keeping my fingers crossed I can continue to use them. So that's one coat. I could probably almost get away with just the one coat coverage, but I do want to do like it a little more vibrant. So I'm going to go in with one more thin coat on top of that. So same thing, place my brush in the center. Um, I was a little bit better maybe this time. I don't have quite so much on my brush. Just going to go ahead and push it back and pull it forward. So I'm pulling that skin back so I don't touch it, hopefully. And pulling that polish forward. Look at that red glittery goodness. This is just stunning. This one might be my favorite. I'm not sure. That cat eye though, ooh, it's something else too. When I get into that, I am just Probably good. They're all going to be my favorite. How's that? I don't know. Just stunning. I mean, look at that. Who could ask for a more beautiful red? I just am obsessed. I didn't really touch too much this time, but I'm just being careful with a little bit of cleanup. Here we go. Very nice. Okay, there we go, my friends. I'm gonna cure that for another minute and I'm gonna pause you and I'll come right back. I'm back, look at that gorgeous red. Oh my. It is stunning. So this nail and this nail are the same. Um, same shade. So these are both that Hot Lips glitter. Um, this has that shiny top coat on it, my ring. I think I'm going to try it with a matte coat on here. So I did the matte coat on the pointy nail. So the pointy and the pinky are the same shade. Those are both that red velvet. And then the middle finger is that Ferrari red. So it's the pinkier of the reds, almost a watermelon. It's really stunning. But anyway, I think I'm going to try the matte on this and see how it goes. So I have not played with the matte coat too much. Actually, just on a couple swatches and on that ring finger I just showed you. So I totally did a boof there and dripped it on too close to the side. So I'm going to pick that up before I get any further. I just kind of moved it to the middle of my nail and clean that up real quick. That's what I get for talking and working and not being careful. So pulled that off, cleaned it up. Okay. So back to my matte top, I want to apply it the same way in the middle of my nail, push it toward the back and 
end here and here and pull it up the side. Way too much on the brush. And pull it forward. edge there a little. Oops, sorry, I was off screen. And definitely had too much on my brush because I flooded my cuticle again. So really that top coat is, is nice and thin, so you do not need much at all. Make sure that you uh, do as I say and not as I do and wipe off quite a bit of that on the neck of your bottle before you remove it. Because it is nice and thin, which makes it easy to apply. You don't have to use too much, but it makes it a little easier to flood your cuticles. So no biggie. I cleaned it up. I'm going to use a little alcohol and good as new. little bit of something there. Wipe it off. I do do gloves just on my other hand just to limit any exposure to gel. Um, the less gel exposure I have, the less likely I am to develop an allergy. So um, it also keeps me from messing up my mani on my other hand. So there's that top coat. Put it in the lamp for a minute and see how it comes out. Oh my, are you ready for this? Holy smokes. Ooh. Look at that. I am obsessed with that matte top coat. I mean, it's beautiful glossy, but that matte, oh boy. So rich and gorgeous. That is the perfect nail right there. I found it my new favorite. So off to take some pictures. I'll post them here at the end. And if you have any questions, please shoot me a comment or an email at any time. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great day. Are you ready?